This is a demonstration of how to use the PICO-1 uh, peak flow meter. A peak flow meter, meter measures the blast of air that you can blow out of your lungs, which is peak flow. It also measures the amount of air you blow out in the first second, which is FEV1. So both of those measurements are done on this machine. It's a pretty simple machine, uh, but there are a few tricks to it. You want to be standing when you're doing the test. You want to be sure you seal your lips nice and tight around the mouthpiece. You want to take in as big a breath as you possibly can. And when you blast it out, you want to blast it out through the machine for about two or three seconds. You also want to be sure that you haven't blocked the top of the machine. And so you want to hold it something like this. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the on off button is here. I'm turning it on. You'll see that it has numbers on there from the test before, but I want to be sure that it's at zero when I do my next maneuver. So I'm going to hit this button twice and then do my next maneuver. So I'm going to do that now because I'm ready to do that maneuver. So I'm going to be taking a big breath in and blowing it out through this machine. So I'm going to zero it. I've got zeros. And now I have recorded both peak flow and FEV1. The FEV1 number is always the number with a decimal point in it. And because I have no exclamation mark behind it, so there's no errors with this maneuver, I'm going to record that. And I want to do about five tests. This is a demonstration of how to turn the Pico 1 peak flow meter on. You push the button right there. You'll see that it comes up with numbers from the test before. But to do a new test, you want to be sure that this is reading zero. So I'm going to hit that button again twice. And you'll see that it goes to zeros. Now it's ready for the test. And you need to quickly do the test because it will go back uh, from not being zeroed again. So once you're ready, you do that. You'll see how it's come back already. So I want to push that again and get ready to do my test. And I'm going to keep my hands underneath so I'm not blocking the flow out of it. So when it comes to recording your results, after each test, you're going to record the FEV1. Not the peak flow, but the FEV1. It's the one with a decimal point in it. So in this case, I'm going to record 2.26 as my FEV1 for that maneuver, and I'm going to do five maneuvers and record them all. We want to record five measurements when we're doing this, this test, and uh, you want to be sure that they're all valid test results. There are some things you can do that are not quite right, and the machine will flag them as not a good test result. One of them is if you don't blow out long enough to get that one second measurement. So I'll, tr I'll try to demonstrate that for you. So I, I've taken a big breath, and you can hear a change in the beep. It's a longer beep, and you'll, uh, I, you can see that the number has an exclamation mark behind it. So the machine has flagged that as something that we haven't done quite right. So you want to be sure you have numbers that are don't have that flag. You want to make sure you blow out long enough for it to get a good measure. So another little error that can happen when you're doing this test is if, if the air that's being measured is actually coming not so much from your lungs as sort of from your cheeks as a instead of a, an actual blow. So we'll, I'll try to demonstrate that for you. So I'm going to take a big breath in, but somehow I'm not going to just quite do it right. And you'll see again, it came from my, lip, my, my cheeks, not quite from, from down within. I have an exclamation mark on it. I heard that long beep. I would not record this because this is not a valid test. Any of them that have an exclamation mark behind them, I would not record that. I would repeat the test until I had five good ones without exclamation marks. So when we talk about recording um, this uh, PICO-1, the FEV-1, we want to be sure we're recording valid numbers. So anytime you see an excl exclamation mark behind your, your number, do not record that one. There's been an error in doing the test and you don't want to record that one. 